Welcome everyone. This is a quick tutorial on working with grids in BioTrack. So as you can see, I am already logged in and I'm viewing animals. First thing to do is make sure that you're looking at the right inventory. Um, so that's just going to help you when you go to create your grids. So I'm looking at my current cow inventory. Uh, so what I'm going to start with is uh, adding some columns and taking some columns away from the grid uh, to create a grid that I like. So I'm going to click on Show Customization Window, and it's going to open a list of all the available fields in BioTrack. So the first one that I'm going to add is Age in Years. So I'm going to click and hold that, dragging it into the grid, and releasing when I see those two white arrows. So as you can see, my age and years have now shown up. And I'm going to do the same thing uh, one more time. With breed, I'm going to click and hold, drag it into the grid, and release when I see those two white arrows. Okay, so now I'm going to take some columns away from the grid. So uh, I don't really care to see uh, this column here. So I'm going to click and hold and drag it into that Show Customization window and release it when I see that black X. So as you can see, it took it away from the grid, and I'm going to do the same thing with this next column, clicking and holding, dragging it into the window, and releasing when I see that black X. Okay, so now that I've got a grid that I like, uh, I want to make sure that I've saved it. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. If you've created a brand new grid, um, what you can do is click on the Save Layout As, and it will open a pop-up, and you'll be prompted to enter a layout name, and then you're just going to click the Save button. In this case, uh, I'm already working on a layout and just want to save the changes that I've made. So the layout's called Katie Temp 1, and I just want to save those changes, so I'm going to click on Save Layout. And I've got my save success message. So if I wanted to set a layout as my default so that it's the first layout that appears whenever I go to view animals, I'm going to click on edit layout. I'm going to find the layout that I want to set as my default. And then I'm just going to click on set default. And that's going to make that my default layout that I see when I first go to view animals. Okay, so within a grid, uh, you can do some sorting and filtering. So if I wanted to uh, sort by birth date, if I wanted to see youngest to oldest or vice versa, I would just click on the title of the column. So now what that, what that has done for us is sorted animals from oldest to youngest. If we want to reverse that, we just click again, and it's going to show us from youngest to oldest. If I want to filter, I can click on a, this gray box right here, and it's going to show me all the options that I can filter for. So in this case, I want to see um, all of the purebred Angus animals, so I'm going to click on that. And so now I've filtered to see only this breed, and I can see birth dates in order of oldest to youngest. If you want to sort uh, for a second column, just hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click on the column. So I'm, you know, I'm holding the shift key, and I'm just going to click again. And now we can see that it's applied a second sort. And it's sorted uh, number of calves born. So once you've finished uh, creating and saving a layout that you like, and if you've applied any sorts or filters, the next thing to do would be uh, export it if you want to work with it in Excel. Um, you would just click this Export to Excel button, or if you'd like to export it to a PDF, there's also that option available here. 
Okay, this concludes our tutorial on working with grids in BioTrack. Uh, for any other questions, please contact the Bio Office at our toll-free number, 1-855-246-2333. Thank you, and have a great day.